Vamos sin presión Quieres saltarte todos los procesos Ya viene la acción Que tú me pidas Si no te sueltes Sube la tentación Siente la conexión Oh na 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 Sin prisa a llegar Baby va rápido va Ale Pa' que esta vuelta se note Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial lesson from the APB Training Club. My name is Apex Lenio, your aspiring professional pool player, national pool player that is, and pool instructor based here in the small island of Jamaica. Now in this particular video tutorial, I'm going to take a break away from the most recent uploads that you've been seeing on my channel, Nine Ball Break and Run Analysis, and I'm going to be introducing to you here a ball pocketing drill that i developed myself it really helped me with understanding not only how to pot balls using automatic aiming but i actually learned how to pot these balls using um a very famous ball pocketing um or aiming system well it's not really well it is an aiming system but it's called the fractional ball aiming system learning how to pot balls by using reference points on the object ball no matter where the object ball is as long as you can predetermine a angle or predetermine the angle of the shot or even get close to the actual angle of the shot you may be able to use these principles and skills to supercharge your ball pocketing ability so as you can see that was the first shot executed but i'm gonna pull this video up back from the beginning where we're gonna take a closer look in details about what i'm doing so if this is the first time you're on the channel do not forget to smash that subscribe button below of course leave some positive comments and questions down below of course leave a like if the video is of any value to you and of course do not forget to uh share this out to your pool communities let's get right into the video as we speak all right guys so as you're going to be seeing in this video here i have the 14 ball that is about or that's going to be about a ball away from the rail and i have the cue ball that is lined up into the bottom half of the table connecting the diamonds on the short rail and the diamonds on the long rail and so once an imaginary line is drawn from these diamonds here towards the aiming point of that ball to pocket it in the corner it creates a certain angle so what i'm going to be doing here i'm, I'm going to be using a fractional ball aiming system here along with angle referencing to learn how to pot shots like these now what you're going to be noticing here that at no given point will i ever walk around to look at the aiming spot or you know do what those amateurs would do point the stick or point the cue at the bottom of the rail at the bottom of the ball or estimate the aiming point and then go around and pivot i won't be doing that i'll actually be aiming from exactly where i'm at without looking at the pot and you're going to be able to do this once you have angle referencing and fractional ball aiming system in your repertoire of skills so here we go the first shot that i'm going to be executing here is a 30 degree cut shot now moments ago you would have been seeing me doing some gestures on the table and those gestures were me just estimating the what i would call the benchmark shot that is a 45 degree shot now i will be making a part two to this video where i'll explain to you how exactly you can predict the 45 degree cut shot now with a 45 with a 30 degree cut shot well let me just start from the 45 degree here with a 45 degree cut shot which is what i'm doing here is that you can aim the cue ball just maybe like just on the outside edge of the circumference of the object ball and what you're gonna find here is that it goes into the pocket like Swiss, um, like Swiss cheese on a bread. It slides into the pocket easily without you having to look at the contact spot on the object ball. All right, and here you can see two shots executed. Now, with the first shot that I had executed, which was a 30 degree cut shot, what I usually do is that I usually aim the cue ball in towards the inside edge of the circumference of the object ball I'll, you may see some images popping up on the screen here with what i mean by inside edge outside edge at the edge and far outside the edge of the object ball there all right so two shots there executed perfectly what you're looking at now here is a 15 degree cut shot on the 10 ball here and the aiming reference for this 
is that once it's a 15 degree, you're going to aim just in between the center of the object ball and also in between the inside edge of the object ball. And you're going to find that the ball goes into the pocket like, as I said, Swiss cheese on a bread. All right. Now, I'm not particularly focusing on the cue ball position. I'm just focusing on the pot. So wherever the cue ball goes, um, I'm okay. I can do another video with this of how you can actually make these shots and control the cue ball into certain areas or what are the possible positional routes with these type of shots. So do look out for that updated video here. Now, this particular shot that I'm going to be executing now is the second to last one, which is now a 60 degree cut shot. And with this particular shot, I tend to use the Shane Van Boning aiming system. And when the shot becomes extremely thin, I find that the aiming method that Shane Van Boning uses, which is not very known to a lot of people, nor is it easy to be executed. But what I do here is that when I have shots like these that are extremely thin, right? And on a fast table like this, I use the Shane Van Boning aiming system to make this particular cut. So what I'm doing here is that I'm, you're not seeing it because of the angle of the camera, but I'm using the very extreme outside edge of my shaft and I'm aiming towards the edge of the object ball here. And so once I do it correctly, it looks like this. Sweet into the pocket here, cue ball sliding across the rail and remaining on its tangent line there. All right, perfect, perfect shot. Now, final one here that I'm looking at is the seven and a half degree. And these are all angle estimation, guys. These are just what I use. It's not necessarily going to be perfectly 7.5 but i use the diamonds and i am the one that attach a degree of cut towards these diamonds and it works for me like magic here now i'm not sure i think i'm gonna miss the first one and this is as a result of me trying to hit the ball a bit too hard and that doesn't usually work out very well in my favor but knowing me Knowing me, guys, I'm always going to try to do better. So I just grab this object ball here and I'm going to try to put it um, into the corner. I'm just going to be using a little less speed on this one. I think in reality, I was trying to put the ball and I was trying to do too much with the cue ball. When the cue ball has this minimal angle on the, on the pot, there's not very much that you can do with the cue ball. And that's what I was trying to do, which caused the miss. But here we go. Executing this one a little bit better. And that was well executed. All right. So hopefully this tutorial video helped you. Give it a try. Let me know how it works out for you guys. Take care. Until then. Vamos sin presión. Quiere saltarte todos los procesos. Ya viene la acción. Que tú me pidas si no te sueltes, suelas.